What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to another video. So as you guys just watched, you watched me make my new favorite obsession, my iced coffee. It is so hot out, it's been hot out for the past week, and I've been getting the Starbucks coffee version of this, and they I just can't control how much heavy whipping cream they're putting inside there. So in order for me to control it, in order for me to make sure I'm hitting my macros every day, I actually switched and I got my own syrup. So show you guys once again, I got this, it's uh, Torani, I got it from in my local grocery store, Meyer. I got the salted caramel, sugar free, and then I also got vanilla as well. Haven't tried the vanilla out yet, but I really like the salted caramel. Um, but yeah, so that's one of my new morning rituals that I do. I do intermittent fasting, but it's my day off today, so I don't really participate in intermittent fasting my day off. It just makes it my lifestyle just a little bit easier. Um, but the reason we're here today, guys, is I wanted to show you the Keto Mojo. So I recently got the Keto Mojo in the mail, and I'm super excited about it. If you guys don't know what the Keto Mojo is, it is a ketone and glucose tester. So it allows you to test your ketone levels rather than using the urine strips that I've shown I think in previous videos or if you guys follow me on Instagram, I put pictures up there every once in a while. Uh, but I read a lot of different studies and they say that when you do the strips, after a while your body doesn't really produce or show those ketones because they actually only produce it through blood because you get the actual true ketone levels. So I hit up Keto Mojo Company and they gave me this awesome sample kit for free of charge. Um, and they also hooked me up with a discount code which you guys can find in the description. Um, but just to show you guys, so it's a little kit, little comes in a little nice little kit here. Uh, comes with one bottle of the Keto Mojo Keto strips that allow you to test it. It also comes with the lancets which are the actual needles that go in there. And I'll show you guys, hang tight, I'll show you in a second the way that this looks like getting set up. The actual reader and then the awesome little pen that you prick yourself with. Yeah, I was kind of partial to try this. Um, I've seen a lot of different YouTubers reaching out to Keto Mojo and, and doing a review on this product. And you know, I was, I'm not big into pricking myself. I think it's a little crazy to do so, but I wanted to try it out because I really wanted to know where my ketone levels were. Now, we're still in the morning. I woke up probably about an hour ago and I'm only halfway through my coffee right now. So I know that when you test your ketone levels in the morning, you're actually quite significantly lower just because of the fact that your body uses those ketones throughout the night and there's not as many in your body when you wake up because you're completely just running off of the fat and the ketones in your body. So it's really, there's just not that much to produce in there. So the more you go throughout your day, the more you're going to see the different results as far as the uh, ketone levels on the strips. So I'm gonna go ahead and test myself for the first time today and I'll show you guys exactly what ketone level I'm at right now. Um, but just to show you the way that this sets up, so you take this pen right here and you just twist off the cap and it comes out. You take out the old pin, which is the lancet they call it. Set that aside. I'm going to grab a new one here. All right, once you get the new one, you're just going to stick it right in the top there. Then it has this like little pull tab up top here that you'll just twist off. All right, when you twist it off, put the cap back on. And then I don't know if you guys can see, I'm going to try to get this to focus. There's like these little notches. The higher up you go, the, the harder the pin's going to push in. So if you have thicker skin, you're going to want to go up. I think I go at level four and that's perfect for me. I've done level two, level one, and they just don't prick me and give me enough blood. So once that's all set up to be able to take the prick, you're going to want to go ahead and pull out one of these tested samples. Now with every one of these tested samples, there comes a little chip that you'll actually put inside the Keto Mojo test. What that does is it calibrates it to these specific strips. So you want to make sure you do that before you actually test your ketone level. So I've already done that. 601 is the number for calibration. It's already on there. So now that that's already on there, I'll take my little strip and I'll just go ahead and put it inside there. After that's done, this will turn on and it will display channel and then it will display 601 for the actual channel. So now that we're on that channel, we're going to go ahead and set that aside. Now you have to take this and you have to pull it back to cock it and you'll see this little orange strip start here. When that orange little strip's there, it means it's ready to go to prick. So I usually do the outside of my fingers just because there's less nerve endings there so you won't feel it as much. And trust me guys, this does not prick you as hard as it does at the doctor's office. That's one thing I hate is going to the doctor's office and they do like blood samples or whatever. They do it and it, and it kind of hurts, but you know, it's over quick. With this one, it actually doesn't hurt as much. It's very minimal um, and it allows you to get those great ketone level tests. Take my middle finger and Go up and three, two, one. All right, so now that it does it, I'm gonna, I don't know if you guys can see. Uh, uh, 
trying to get it to focus. See a little blood there? All right, so once you got the blood pulled up, I always push out my fingers a little bit so I can get more blood on the end. You always want to have more than less. And then you'll just take your ketone meter and you'll stick the tip of it right into the blood and it sucks the blood right up. Now once it's doing that, it's going to start to count down. Three, two, one, boom. And then it will tell you. So I am at 0.8. So that's quite low, like I mentioned. There's really, you want to be between 1.5 and 3.5. The higher up your level is, the higher and deeper you are in ketosis. If you're at 0.8, I'm still in ketosis currently right now, but since it's the morning, like I mentioned, you're really not going to see those higher levels until later on, until I start consuming some nutrients in my body and get my fats up. Once the fats are up and I retest, I should be at a higher ketosis level. All right, using the Keto Mojo, it's an awesome tool, but it's also a tool. It's a tool just like a scale. So you have the scale, you can weigh yourself every single day, but that doesn't really gauge how you are doing on your diet. Remember guys, the one most important thing that you have to understand when you are dieting, it's about how you feel. It's not about how a test strip can tell you how you feel. It's not about hopping on the scale and letting that justify. It's about how you can look at yourself in the mirror and really feel how you feel inside. For me, I, I weigh myself every day. It's just something that allows me to to stay consistent, but it's not something I allow to justify me on my diet. It's something that I know that I can look in the mirror and I feel absolutely amazing. I feel way better than I have six, seven, eight months ago. So I know that I'm going to gauge it with that. The Keto Mojo is the same thing. It's just another tool that you can use to measure your ketone levels. I almost use it as a competition. I always want to see if I can continue to get higher up and higher up and higher up and how deep of ketosis I can really get into. You know, and that's a really cool thing to do on your diet. It just keeps motivating you, pushing you through. But everybody gets motivated differently. This might not be perfect for you. But if it is, like I mentioned, I got a discount code for you guys down in the description. Go ahead and pick yourself up one. It's an amazing company and it's also an amazing product. They did not pay me in any way, shape, or form to review this product. I just wanted to bring the best content to you guys so that you can see firsthand before you go out and spend your own money. So I'm going to go ahead and me, the wife, and my son Weston are going to go out and we're going to go grab some lunch here in just a little bit. I'm going to eat something and I'll show you guys what I eat. After we eat, I'm probably going to wait about 30 minutes to an hour and then I will retest my ketones and we'll see if there's any fluctuation in there. Sometimes there is and sometimes there isn't, but if you guys are interested, let's go ahead and get this day started. All right, guys, so we just pulled into Cordoba, so that's where we're going to be eating for lunch. Uh, we th we're going to go to Five Guys, but I figured something a little different. Uh, I've been eating Chipotle quite a lot lately, and for those of you that don't know what Cordoba is, Cordoba is actually the same concept as Chipotle. It's just 100% better, in my opinion. I think Chipotle is just a fad. People love it just because other people love it, but Cordoba has way better meat, in my opinion. So we're going to go inside, we're going to grab our food, and then I'll check back in with you guys and show you exactly what I'm eating. And then, like I mentioned, about 30 minutes to an hour after that, I'm going to show you exactly what my ketone levels are by the Keto Mojo. And if you can hear in the back seat, Weston's making a bunch of noise. What are you doing back there? So, all right, so we're going to go ahead and go inside, and I'll check back in with you guys once I get my plate. portion of steak, uh, basically a steak salad with lettuce. We also put the guacamole, sour cream, and uh, pico on the side just so we can portion control it a little bit more and have cheese on top. So we're going to go ahead and eat this real quick and then we will wrap up and I'll let you guys know what my ketone levels are in about 30 minutes after I consume this. Alright, 
so we just got back from the restaurant and it's been about 35 minutes roughly so I'm ready to test my ketone levels again to see if they fluctuated any um, and I like to do this after meals this is really a good way to kind of gauge on if you're getting knocked out of ketosis and if you're not sure if a specific meal is really going to knock you out of ketosis um, so once again this is one of those awesome tools so let's go ahead and get this set up I pretty much got everything put in um, got my meter already put in there all I got to do is prick myself real quick and then I will show you guys exactly what it turns out to be um, so let's go ahead and put on the finger three two one hit all right push up the blood all right now that we're out the meter suck it up and here we go countdown time four three two one all right, 0.6. So we actually went down in ketones for some reason. Not quite sure, but like I mentioned, I'm still in ketosis. It looks like I need to work on being a little bit more deeper in ketosis, and that could have been a very well just because of Memorial Day weekend. Um, I didn't go off the diet, but I definitely ate some things that I normally wouldn't. I didn't track my macros 100%. But like I said, guys, this is okay. It happens. Don't become so obsessed with this specific product that you need to continue to test it over and over again. Just test it throughout the days because different times of the day is going to fluctuate those ketone levels um, for different people depending on what you eat. Sometimes when you eat they go up, sometimes they go down. You know, it's something that you can kind of just gauge with it. I like having it around because I like to test myself when I try new foods um, at different restaurants just to make sure that they're not knocking me out of ketosis completely. Um, but you know, you can definitely be in a lot more deeper state, but right now I'm losing about one to two pounds a week right now so I don't feel like I really need to change anything. I feel healthy. I feel good and I'm all the way down to 220 pounds now so we are getting about 20 was it 25 more pounds to my goal so that's pretty impressive and I'm very happy about it uh, but when you guys do pick up one of these I'll leave all the information in the description make sure you pick up extra strips because they only come with I think like I don't know, I want to say like 15 or something like that so pick up extra strips for yourself and then um, yeah you'll have a lot more on hand if you wanted to do that but I do have a discount code for you guys once again that's in the description um, if you guys like this style of video go ahead and smash the thumbs up it helps me more than you know allows this video to reach that many more people so I um, really appreciate you guys watching my content and if there's anything specifically that you guys want to see on a video go ahead and drop that in the comment section for me as well and if you're not currently following me on social media I'll go ahead and drop all of my handles right here for you so go ahead and follow me and you can check out my daily life and what I do to stay consistent on the keto diet. But thank you guys again for watching and this goes ahead and wraps up this video. Peace!